Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Cultural. I'm Rebecca and for today's video we're going to be reacting to a video called 10 plus incredible facts about APJ Abdul Kalam. Now I'm sure you all know who this person is but of course me being me and me wanting to educate myself I obviously did a bit of research on who this person was um, and he is of course the 11th president of India. Um, he was president from 2002 to 2007 and yeah, I'm very excited to learn more about him and some facts about him and what he did. And yeah, I love these sorts of videos because I get to learn more about your country and your culture. And yeah, I'm very excited to be reacting to this video today and let's watch it together. Dream is not that you see in sleep. Dream is something that does not let you sleep. Mm, interesting. Never thought about it like that. <laughs> In this episode, we're taking a look at one of the greatest heroes to all, if not most, Indians. More popularly known simply as APJ Abdul Kalam. A man who came from humble beginnings and rose up as the leader of a nation. What's happening everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. And throughout this video, I'll be referring to APJ Abdul Kalam most times as Dr. APJ. And he's literally our most requested topic right now. Like, we have pages of requests from people asking us to do a video on Dr. APJ. People like Jahid Gul, Shivam Kumar, Josh Gamer MC, Tech Hub MEA, Jeshwant Reddy, Manny Duvedi, Kanish Rawat, Young Homie, Anurag Dube, and Pal Piali. And that is just a few of you guys. Now before we officially begin with this video, I want to ask you guys, what or who inspires you? Beginning with the early life of Dr. APJ, APJ Abdul Kalam was born on the 15th of October in 1931 Aww. in British India. He was born in a region that is now called Tamil Nadu. In his early years, Dr. APJ spent a lot of his time studying mathematics, which led to a fulfilling career as a scientist. He came up from a poor background and he actually had to start working at a very early age just to supplement their family's income. For wow. work, he distributed newspapers after school and his father, Janulabdin, had no schooling at all. However, he did own a ferry and he took Hindu pilgrims back and forth between Danuskodi and his hometown of Rameswaram, Tamil Nadu. Dr. APJ attended the Madras Institute of Technology and graduated in the year 1960. After that, he joined the Aeronautical Development Establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization, or in short, the DRDO. And then following wow. that, in the year 1969, he was transferred to work for the ISRO, and that is the Indian Space Research Organization. Now, from there, that is when his whole career skyrocketed. He was a project director of India's first satellite launch vehicle, the S. LV-3, which had successfully deployed the Rohini satellite in near-Earth orbit on July 1980. He was heavily involved in India's military missile developments, and for that, Dr. APJ was nicknamed the Missile Man. And yet, he really earned this name because of his work in the development of ballistic missiles and launch vehicle technology. I mean, this guy was like a gifted, talented genius. So why is this development so important in terms of ballistic missiles? Well, it gave India another tool that allowed them to have a great tactical advantage rather than using the standard cruise missiles. The main advantage is that ballistic missiles can fly above the atmosphere and travel very quickly. Just to give you an idea, a target at 10,000 kilometers away would be hit in 30 minutes. Because of the efforts of Dr. APJ, India's Pokhran 2 nuclear tests in 1998 were advanced much more quickly as well. Because you see, the previous nuclear test that was done by India was back in the year 1974. So that's more than 20 years prior. As I mentioned before, he is just a natural gifted genius. So it's no surprise that he was a recipient of honorary doctorates from 40 universities. That's 40. four zero. Okay, and check this. His impact as a scientist was so great that in the country of Switzerland, 
May 26 is considered Science Day to commemorate Dr. APJ's visit to Switzerland. Wow, he even wow. has a national day in another country based off of him. Now, there's so many other facets to his career as a scientist, but I want to quickly touch on his career in politics. Dr. APJ served as the 11th president of India. He won the 2002 presidential election, and he was in office from the 25th of July, 2002, to the 25th of July 2007. And because of his humble attitude and demeanor, he also earned another nickname, the People's President. But surprisingly to me, and I'm sure to many others as well, although he achieved so much, Dr. APJ was never married. At the presidential residence, wow. the Rashtrapati Bhavan, his hairstylist Ahmed, asked him why he never got married, and his response was this, I was married. I was married to the missile. And that was just solid confirmation that Dr. APJ was committed to serving his nation. Everyone on this planet has a different calling, and for Dr. APJ, it was advancing his country. Now, APJ Abdul Kalam didn't just love his work. He was a great lover of poetry, most specifically Tamil poetry. He could play the Veena as well as he could recite the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita, as well as he knew the Holy Scriptures very well. The religion he did identify with, though, was Islam. Now, we can't fit all the information about his life in just one video, but I do recommend his autobiography that was written. It's called Wings of Fire. It was first published in English, but has since then been translated into more than 13 languages. Languages. He was a prolific writer and wrote about 15 books. The subject matters on those books range from nuclear physics to his spiritual experiences. You can clearly see why this man was and still is an inspiration to many people. I and I haven't yeah. even touched on the amount of awards that he received. In the year 1997, he received the Bharat Ratna, which is the highest civilian award in the country of India, as well as here are some of the other awards that he's won. But sadly, all great things do come come to an end in this life. While delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, Dr. APJ collapsed and died from apparent cardiac arrest on the 27th of July, 2015. He was 83 years old at the time. But his legacy will continue to live on in the hearts and minds of many people, as well as through his writings and videos made after him. The life of Dr. APJ even inspired one Hindi film. The movie was called I Am Kalam. In it, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is portrayed as an extremely positive influence to a poor boy named Chotu, who later on renames himself Kalam in honor of the man who inspired him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This episode of FTD Facts was brought to you by Grammarly.com. Join the hundreds of other FTD Facts users that have started using Grammarly.com. This software allows you to improve your English skills a lot. It checks spelling, grammar, and punctuation errors. So whether you use it for school or work or whatever, there's always going to be a benefit for you. Even if you're a fluent English speaker like myself that think you know everything about the English language. So I have the link to that down below. You can start using it for free. There are many ways that we can live our lives and one of the main lessons that we can learn from the life of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is that no matter how simple, poor, or insignificant you may be, with yes. a burning desire and a strong hope and faith in what you believe in, fueled by genuine love, you can achieve great things. A I symbol hope of hope agree. and inspiration, not just to the people of India, but also to the rest of the world. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's legacy will continue to live on for generations to come. If you want to extend your support to FTD Facts, be sure to hop over to our Patreon page. We're now giving away rewards for anyone that becomes a monthly patron. Also, I highly recommend that you check out another video that I did on Narendra Modi. This will also leave you very inspired. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, that was so inspirational. Like, when I did my research, you know, I kind of got... I understood that like um, APJ Abdul Kalam was you know highly commended in 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 India but like I feel so inspired after watching that that was incredible and I think 
the fact that right up until his last, last breath, you know, they said that he unfortunately collapsed whilst he was giving a speech. I'm sure that speech was, you know, very inspiring. I'm sure it was incredible. But to, you know, be in the audience and witness that must have been horrific. But, you know, he was obviously doing good right up until the last minute, which is incredible. And to, you know, see him come from humble beginnings where he had to work from such a young age and his father wasn't educated and, you know, he had to work to earn extra income from the family. And to see him build up to the um, ISRO, ISRO? <laughs> um, which we obviously did a reaction to um, another video about the ISRO and to see him working in there it's just incredible one of the things I really do enjoy about making these videos is when you know I watch something like this and then I've already reacted to another video such as the one about ISRO um, and I can be like oh yes I've I've already learned a little bit about that and it, obviously it involves him but I didn't realize that when I was watching that other video which is incredible and to see him then go on from being a doctor to becoming a president and being the people's president that is I think when you are like the people's president or the people's something um I think it's very much the most important title you can have <laughs> or like one of the most important because if you are for the people and the people see you as theirs like their president and i think it gives the person much is it makes the person much more relatable to the public which is obviously the thing you want when you're in politics so to hear that he is the people's president is just incredible and you can see all the incredible things he's done and he just looks like his face and his hair he just looks like such a happy and kind kind person he looks so kind um, and i'm sure he had an incredible life um, well, he did have an incredible life, like, I can see it through this video, you know? And, um, yeah, I just, I feel so uplif uplifted after watching that. And then at the very end, when they were saying that the film, was it I Am Kala Kalam? Was that what it was called? Oh, I can't remember. My memory's so bad. Um, but we reacted to, I think it was the trailer, or we, um, we definitely reacted to something, because it definitely rings a bell when when I was um, watching the video, but I didn't realize it was like, you know, in honor of him and his name, which is just crazy, like, to have such a, a powerful and influential, kind-hearted person in, in your political world, and just as a doctor and has done so much for the space agency and so much for your country, it's just like incredible to see and, you know, I'm sure you are all passionate and very proud of everything that he achieved. And I feel like I need to go read his book because that was that made me so that made me feel so inspired and so happy that I just want to learn more about this person. So if you have any other videos that include him, let me know by posting links to them in the comments below because I would love to react to more and learn more about him because he sounds like such a great guy. <laughs> but if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you are new, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we upload. Um, share this video with friends and family and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye everyone!